And good afternoon, everyone. It is 3.46, Saturday, June 26th of 21. Um, not a whole lot has changed as far as this. It doesn't look like it's continuing to free fall, though, which is a nice sign. We'll see if that holds. But one thing I have noticed, Zinfin is pushing the, uh, the envelope here. And so is Casino Coin. And I'm going to show you why. Check this out. Flare Finance has now added support for Casino Coin. Shout out to Flare Finance for having the best hype videos in all of crypto, period. Um, that's awesome news, though. It's one of my favorite holdings. They're, they're all about being regulated for the regulated gaming industry, which I think is huge for mass adoption. Anyway, they have an article out on casino.coin.medium. Casino Coin, Flare Finance, and the family of digital assets. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but if you're interested... In either one of these things or both of them together, you should 100% read this article. Um, if you Google search that, I'm sure it will take you right there. Um, yeah, and it just talks about all of it. They got tons of good information in the Casino Coin blog now. Uh, I recommend getting on board with that. That's not financial advice, but that from an informative information standpoint, it is advice. Stay informed. Do your own research. Uh, Go West Bitcoin unpacking the great hash rate migration. All signals indicate that the greatest shakeup, excuse me, in the geographic makeup of Bitcoin mining since the start of the industrial mining era. So this is a big thing, guys. Um, whether it's the U.S. or other locales that grow their market share at the expense of China, it will be a significant win for Bitcoin's decentralization. I do agree with that because they had like 65% of the hash rate was over there. Uh, the one thing I do wonder is what is China up to to just be letting that all go like that. Like any anybody who games China doesn't always end well, so it's just interesting to, to see them just being like, all right, we're just gonna get rid of this, even though we are in majority control. Then again, maybe they don't see it that way. U.S. Fed official calls Tether a challenge to the financial stability. Eric Rosengren included the stablecoin among what he termed new disruptors to short-term credit markets. Something to pay attention. You guys know Tether's had the lawsuit. Uh, a lot of really sketchy stuff as far as what's backing it as a stablecoin. Um, not financial advice, but I would pay attention to that. Digital asset investor posting gold as always. I thought this was really interesting. How do we get to the looking glass where Coinbase is comfortable listing Dogecoin? But somehow they're not comfortable listing XRP, the third largest digital asset by market volume that's been in existence for eight years and traded globally because of the SEC suit. This is the regulatory morass we're in. That's regulatory morass, I think, is resulting in kind of bizarre or perverse outcomes. We went over that uh, with uh, Stuart Alderati and all that stuff with uh, the Ribbles law, law firm or law team, excuse me. Um, and then one more thing just to bust out right here. This is from Goldman's website. You can get it right through there. Um, if you Google this title, it'll pop up. Uh, beauty is not in the eye of the beholder. And there's a bunch of people drawing bulls, bears, monies, and coins, and doge all around Bitcoin. Here's the people that are involved with this uh, paper here. And it goes through a bunch of stuff. I mean, it says 400 cryptocurrencies exchanges have set up. Uh, it goes into crypto-based derivatives, new companies, multinational, hundreds of blockchain networks, professional services, software such as Corda and Quorum. It really covers a lot of stuff. Um, they even talk about HODL right here. I think that's awesome. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> uh, 
You know, it says that crypto billionaires are being minted and an extensive new vocabulary has been developed around cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Um, got a lot of really cool information here. I'm obviously not going to go over all of this, but it was brought to my attention via Brad Kimes' uh, channel, Digital Perspectives. Because I think it was him. It was either him or Digital Asset Investor. They might have both shown it by this point. Who knows? I can't keep track of anything. Either way, go follow both of them. Those those are the two. Those are the two uh, top dogs, in my opinion. Did I scroll past this thing? No, I didn't. So here it goes into where they're talking about like Bitcoin. They're talking about like some of the uh, the NFT marketplace, the next generation of blockchains, and for next generation decentralized platforms, blockchain technology has continued to evolve, and several high impact innovations have been introduced who is on top of that list i'm telling you it's ripple payments oriented blockchains integrates with banking system cheap fast settlement for global transfers cons somewhat centralized in an ongoing sec suit yeah imagine that i'm sure it's all a coincidence algorand solana solana is one that people have been talking about a lot more and people have been talking about a lot of algorand that's one i've got my eye on big time Corda brings you back down to uh, XDC through R3 and all that fun stuff. So that's why I wanted to show you that, that they are talking about a lot of this stuff. You know, it's coming, people. We might not know exactly what, what shape it's going to take, but if you don't think it's here, you're crazy. Don't be like the people on the internet that got left behind. Like, I'm not even worried about being rich. I just want to create a little bit of something for my family that will make a difference, you know? And I think that is pretty damn easy to do in this situation. And with that note, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm probably going to start taking off on the weekends unless there's like anything major going on. I feel like I just start kind of getting redundant and I want to try to prevent that. And free up some free time with my wife and kids for myself. And yeah, uh, keep an eye on everything. It's crypto. You never know what's going to go on. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.